Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. There's a present for Jimmy Hopkins in the office. I don't understand From his mother. why more people don't play RPGs. Hello, miss. Oh, there you are, Jimmy. I'll make this quick. Your mom has sent you a Christmas present. Just great. I know. You are very lucky your mom is so nice. You may go now. Hey, so come up to my room if I offer to show her my John Elway autograph. I wonder if I could have become a doctor. Kid, how do I look? Uh, great. <laughs> Who's the lucky guy? Dr. Watt! The chemistry teacher? Uh-huh. I don't know what it is about that guy, but every time I get a look at his bald head and manic eyes, I go all gooey inside. <laughs> okay, that's enough information. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Love is blind. I sure hope so. Hey, kid, I need you to do me a favor. Dr. Watts doesn't actually realize that we're going on a date yet. <laughs> but we are. <laughs> and I need to get ready. So, can you get me Ms. Phillips' perfume from the staff room? You know where that is, right? Oh, and I almost forgot. Some candy and some sedatives. And for the sedatives, don't buy them. Just look for them in the trash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can do that. Good. <sighs> Gorgeous. Thank <laughs> you. 
Edna, I got your stuff. Hey, Edna, you old bat, I got your stuff. Ha! Oh, whoa. Oh, my luck! <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> if I was 50 years older, I'd date you myself. Ah, thanks, kid. <laughs> Where's the perfume? Right here. <clears throat> oh, thanks. I needed that. I get so nervous before a date. Yeah, well, good luck, Edna. Hey, kid, wait! I need you to do me a favor. Another one? Yeah! What's in it for me? Ha! I won't spit in your food. Will you spit in Mr. Hattricks if I say yes? <laughs> for you, kid, I'll do worse than spit. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? I want to go on a nice date with Dr. Watt. So go then. Have fun. Yeah. Well, you know what you kids are like. You see a beautiful couple out on a date, and you're bound to do anything to ruin it. You got a point. So listen, I need you to watch out for me and keep those disgusting kids away. I show you what I know about chemistry <laughs> and a little biology. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Why, Miss Peters? What's the matter? Well, you know how tonight is our Christmas pageant, right? It's kind of a pagan, spiritual, age-appropriate, loving thing we've got going on here. It's all about letting go and being really unselfconscious. Sounds like heaven, miss. Mmm, great. Well, we are about to go on stage in a couple of minutes, but our lead percussionist has appendicitis. Oh, that sucks. Guess it's gonna be a rhythm-free pageant this year. No! 
I've been planning this pageant for months. I have hand sewn the costumes. I stayed up for days painting the backdrop for the stage. I've called on the good spirits to watch over us. And all the parents are now waiting in the auditorium. Uh, so what do you want me to do about it? You have to get up on that stage and play. You have to save the Christmas pageant! Are you serious? Group participation in a public performance? No way! I'm a teenage boy! No? What do you mean, no? You have to help me! Unless... you plan on failing my course. What? You gotta be joking, right? Oh, come on! The only boys my age who like that kind of stuff end up dancing in musicals or working for Hollywood. Please. Do I look like I'm joking? You want another F, boy? <sighs> okay, okay, I'll do your stupid pageant. You know, for a hippie, you're a real bully, ma'am. Mmm, peace and love, Jimmy. Oh, and there's one other thing. You'll have to wear this. Oh, now I know you're joking. Oh, come on, Miss Peters. This is the kind of thing I'll have to talk to my therapist about when I'm older. Have a heart. I'll look like a complete moron in front of the whole school. Well, in my opinion, you'll look like the hero who saved the Christmas pageant. Yeah? Well, it's not your opinion I'm worried about. You'll be fine. And now for a real holiday treat, I give you the holiday medley. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Please don't mess this up, Jimmy. Oh, yes. Christmas depends on you. Oh, yes. Thank you. It's all to them. Yes. Oh.
Hey, 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 kid. You got it, right? No. Okay, then you want to sit on my knee? You want a kick in the balls? Uh, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just a little down on my luck. I mean, one year, I'm living in Greenland with a posse of elves and some talking reindeer. <laughs> in the next, I'm getting treated like a drunken fool, thrown out of the North Pole and put to <laughs> work in a dump of a town like this. Okay, man, now you're kind of creeping me out. Why, why, why does everyone say that to me? <laughs> Whoa, I can't imagine. I mean, the other kids was just abusing me. Calling me a pervert, throwing snowballs at me. <laughs> You're just like them, little red-haired bully. Hold on, which kids? Those ones over there. The tough kids, damn it. Not the rich kids from fancy school like you. The Molly Connolly and Mavis boys like you. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> they keep attacking me, man. I can't take it no more. What happens in the old days? I miss Prancer. Oh, what? He was always my favorite. Not Rudolph. No. He was a prima donna. Oh. <laughs> I'm falling apart here! Hey, listen, man. Where are these kids? Over there somewhere. with those reindeer, you maniac. Hey, kid! It's me! Remember me? Oh, great. It's the crazy lunatic. What was that? Oh, nothing, mister. Hey! I'm, you know, Santa Claus, oh. right? Oh, yeah, right, Santa Claus. How could I forget? We met a few times when you crept into my bedroom when I was asleep as a kid, then only more recently when you were drunk under a bridge. You're right, man. How could I forget a fine role model like you? Ho, ho. Now, listen up. There's an imposter going around claiming he's me. He's ripping people off by posing for Santa pictures and charging for it. That's my money! 
If you take care of this imposter, then I can take what's rightfully mine. And cut you in on the action, of course. <laughs> what do you say? Well, I wasn't expecting much in my stocking this year. So why not? That's a spirit! I'll have to check my list. Hey, Santa. What's up? Well, if it isn't my favorite little helper. You want to smoke? Oh, no. I forgot. Little goody two-shoes doesn't smoke. <laughs> so, what are you up to? This, uh, doesn't look like much of a workshop. I know. We gotta fix this dump up. <clears throat> look through some trash cans for ornaments or any junk that sparkles. This is a classy operation. We gotta look the part. Oh, come on, man. With your whiskey breath and your weird manner? You just scream Christmas spirit to me. Of course, I do. But this dump needs to look nice. You leave it to me, Mr. Claus. Okay, man. Here's all the junk I could find. Nice going, kid. I think we're just about ready for business. Oh, by the way, you brought a camera, right? I'm afraid the elves let me down this year. Yeah, I kind of figured they would. Don't worry, I got it covered. Good. Now, go stand over there and make me, I, I mean us, Rich! Ho, ho, ho! <clears throat> A skateboard, Roddy! A skateboard! Hear me, old man! Ow! I'm bunions! Are you insane? All right, pose. <laughs> ho, ho, <laughs> ho! I know you were what? I hear it! In your river! Oh! Yeah! This way! I was, Mom! Why should I? You suck! Over here! You're on camera! Alright, Megat, who's next? Hi, Santa. 
You're the best. I want lots of presents this year, okay? Well, well, look who it is now. It's you. Did you slay a rocket boosters? Is it eco-friendly? Na 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 na. Looking for a tutor or something? I got my PhD at the school of hard knocks. Sorry, kid. Places to be. Right near the feed. It's not like horse poop. It's not like horse poop and rubbing alcohol. If I had a nickel for every time I'd heard that. Na 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 boo boo. Sin is thirsty. Let's get this over with. Ho ho <laughs> ho. Ho ho ho. I haven't seen this much dough since my days at the track. <laughs> the track? Um, yeah. You know, uh, the, the, the reindeer games, and, um, uh, oh, hey, I might be able to catch the last race. Gotta go, kid. Here's your cut. I think we can call that a wrap. Hey, you little thief! My asthma! Sir, are you okay? I just got robbed by a dorky kid and I'm having an asthma attack! Of course I'm not okay! Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll give you five bucks and some comics if you help me get my stuff back from that punk! You got a deal! So you came? Yup. I bet you think I'm funny, don't you? A laughing stock? Not really. I mean, you dress a little weird, but... Yeah? And everyone is laughing at me. All of you, at me! What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. Have you had her? Who are you talking about? I bet you have. Have you had what her? What are you doing? Who? Lola! That slut! That slut... I love. No, man! She's cheating on me, man. I know she is. The little slut. It's killing me. Me, dying over abroad. Oh, man, I knew this was coming. What are you talking about? She's with that rich kid, Gord. I know she is. How do you know? Will you find out for me? I can't take the suspense. Look, meet me at the underpass near New Coventry tonight. We'll get evidence. Bring a camera, and then we'll settle this. Once and for all.
interest, Johnny. Lola's a bit of a slut, it seems. I knew it! I just knew it! What's this gourd kid got that I ain't got? Uh, nothing. You think it's funny, don't you? You think I'm a joke? Well, my little friend, I'm the king around here. Me! I know. You're the king. But my queen is a slut, and now everybody's laughing at me! Well, not anymore! I'm not laughing. Good. Good, kid. You and me, we're gonna teach young Gord to keep his dirty paws off my woman. My queen! Get him to the abandoned building in New Coventry behind Union Hall. I'll be waiting there to school that little weasel. I'll be there. where you ought not. No, cousins are legal. Oh, you mean Lola? Yeah, my woman. Now you pay! Hey! Oh, <laughs> it's you. Is that any way to greet your new boss, Harrington? Well, is it? Hmm, uh, no. No what? No, sir. That's better. At ease, girls. Listen, <laughs> boss, those grease monkeys are making life very difficult for Gord. That's because Gord was showing one of their girlfriends a good time. Some leader you turned out to be. Father says leadership is about looking after those you lead. He taught me that right before he laid everyone off. So what do you want me to do? Send them a message all over their dirty little slum. Why should I? Because you're the boss. Exactly. I'm the boss and I'll go send the message. Darby says I'm... Go 
get the message. Let's go! How you doing? See ya! It's funny because it's true. Somebody is going to get their freaking lights knocked out. Who could ever call this art? Amigo? Johnny and his goons were hassling me about algae. That guy's gone even crazier. He thinks algae is trying to put the moves on his girl. Algae? And Lola? I know. It's crazy. Everyone knows algae likes blondes. Listen, find algae and get him back here until Johnny comes to his senses. Where is he? I don't know. I know he was working on a math project for Hattrick with Cornelius. Maybe he knows where Algy is. Who? Cornelius. You know, the scrawny kid in the acting club. He did an amazing Juliet in the school play. I think he has a 4.0 grade point average. Come on! We know you know where he is! Where's Algy, you walking beanpole? Mm. He's at the pizza parlor, okay? Please let me go now. I told you face. he knew where Algy was. Shut up, Gary. Face. You guys get Algy and bring him to me at the clubhouse. You guys, take care of this pathetic excuse for a human being. I was hoping you'd say that. Help me! Please! Anybody! I'll show you the force equals mass times scared. acceleration! Take that! And that! You're gonna get creep! Now I'm going to hit you really hard! Get some! Now you oh. tell me what you put up! I shall have the thoughts of violence! Take that! Oh, am I hurting your have feelings? Have you been working out? You should not have started. Oh, thanks yourself. so much, Jimmy. Hey, I was lying when I told Johnny the algae is at the pizza parlor. You gotta go help him. Algie, you're in so much trouble with Johnny Vincent and his boys. So, Chad, honey, listen, it's just a hundred bucks. That's nothing to a man of your means. Oh, but Lola, I'd have to steal it off of my father. But Lola, I thought Lisa, that me and you... up that 
so oh, big boned, not fat. I thought you liked me. <sighs> you said you did. I do. I, I really do. Some friend you turned out to be. You must think I'm really cheap. Just a cheap slut. Well, that's it. No, no, no. Oh, but, oh, 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 wait. Smart ass. Ridiculous. Women. Oh. Look at you both. You're pathetic. But, but I, I thought, thought you she liked, liked me. me. I don't believe this. You both better get over oh, it. No. Listen, we gotta get out of here before Johnny Vincent sees you hanging out with his girlfriend. Oh, Algie, you take the girl's bike. Chad, oh, you better pedal for both great. of us. I got a feeling I'm headed for a fight. Oh. But, uh, but I was just helping Lois study, honestly. I'm so scared. What? Well, he's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go find him. On those bikes! Is that algae? On a girl's bike? Here they come! I'll hold them off! Just try not to crash into anything, Chad! One down! I'm getting tired. Give me a minute to catch my breath. You! It's a trap! It's a trap! Chad, step on it! Oh, damn! Johnny? No, you don't. Love is complicated. That didn't seem complicated between you and that Gordo kid. I'm gonna kill him! Johnny, please! We've been over that. He's sweet, but it was so innocent. Get off. Oh, I love it when you get angry, Johnny. I really do. You're so bestial. Hey, Jimmy. Hey! What are you doing here? Looking for you, Johnny. At Lola's house? Yeah! Be nice to each other. You know what I like about you two? 
You're both so straightforward, so quick to judge, so fast. Ain't no one fast like me. Really? So you could beat Jimmy in a race? Definitely. I heard he was pretty fast. This little twerp? Give me a break. Oh, I think we've got a little challenge. I just love challenges. They make me so... excited. Look at these suckers! They We're got gonna grind you down! Let's do it! You got no chance against Johnny and his boys! All right, Jimmy, you won. Well, of course my bike wasn't tuned right. I'm gonna head to the shop and do some work on it. More bike talk? I'll meet you guys later. Come on, give me a kiss. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Wasn't that great? Very well, young squire. Huh? How are you, young man? Can I offer you a highball? Yeah, sure. Actually, maybe you're a little young. Better keep this out of harm's way. <sighs> are you gonna be all right, sir? Ugh, it's that pompous ass Patrick. He's bad-mouthing me all around the staff room. Why? He keeps calling me a drunk. Says that I am irresponsible. He's trying to get me fired. He's trying to turn Miss Phillips against me. Well, sir, when people say bad things about what I do, I like to prove them wrong. Really? How? By showing a nobler side of yourself? Rising above it? No, not exactly. 
I like to show that they massively underestimated the force that they were dealing with and then really give them something to complain about. Ah, oh, the treacherous Machiavelli! I love it! Good. Me too. What's that nonsense dealt with? Hey, good looking. What's up? Oh, you're so angry. But I think you've got a softer side. Haven't you caused enough trouble? That's not fair. I'm a nice girl. I'm nice to everyone. Now everyone hates me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Well, okay. But now Johnny and his boys won't even speak to me. Boys can get really jealous when they find out you've been kissing another boy. It wasn't like that. I'm not like that. Okay. But I left all my things in the abandoned tenements where they hang out. My address book, my keys, my perfume, my lipstick, even my laundry. Everything. Now I've got nothing. I don't have much money. That's too bad. Maybe you could get them back for me? You want me to steal your stuff back from a bloodthirsty mob of angry greaseballs? I'd be very grateful, Jimmy. <laughs> very grateful. Jimmy, back me up! I'm gonna 
smoke your butt with my food. my eyes for a sec. Ooh. Ooh. Wasn't that great? Ah! Get away, foul vision of hell! Sir, you sent for me? Death stalks me, but I've seen the light. I know you're not there, devil! Dr. Watts, sir, it's Hopkins. It's me, not the devil. He couldn't make it. Go! Oh! Are you okay? Oh. What did you do? I was mixing chemicals for my research when there was an explosion. The vapors have got to me again. Oh, oh. cool. Oh. I see all of the triplets came. Oh. Triplets? Whatever. Such is the life of a scientist, Hopkins. The suffering can be terrible. Now listen, word is you're quite the problem solver. I've got a business proposition. <laughs> I'm listening. 
In my spare time, I produce certain chemical compounds with certain <laughs> properties. I need some of them delivered to my customers around town. Quick, though! They need them urgently! All right, go pick up the stuff from my lab technician. He's in town, in Trailer Alley. I'm on it. Something about some deliveries? Not so big now, are you? I'm gonna pound your face and get you scared. Pinhead, get some! Move, you bitch! Come on, you're all terrible now, call, you might hurt you. Uh, Come on, you're all terrible now, you I said I'd do it. Job well done. Huh. 
There he is, my hero. What's your problem now? If you really cared about me, you'd fight for me. First of all, I'm not sure I really care about oh. you. And second, what do you think I've been doing? Tad fights for me, Gord fights for me, Johnny... Well, he certainly fights for me. In fact, they're all about to fight for me. Right now. Everyone apart from you. Who's fighting? Tad and all the rich kids are coming here to fight Johnny and his boys. All because of me. I'm like Helen of Troy. So there's gonna be a big fight? A winner-take-all sort of thing? Yes. Everyone's involved apart from you. I'm Helen of Troy, and you're more interested in boys called Troy. Whatever. See you later. Daddy, now! You treacherous little snake! You think you're tough, huh? You don't need any more of this, Johnny. You laugh at me? You turn on me? You get it on with that harlot who I... I love? Uh, I'm gonna destroy you! Alright, calm down, man. It's cool. You lost. No big deal. We can all be friends. You're done, kid. Finished! You're lucky, Jimmy. I'll kick your ass later. Get back here! Stop! I'm an officer of the law!
was the daddy. Got it? I'm in charge. You do what I say. All right. I give up. You can have her. Who? What are you talking about, Johnny? Lola, you win. She's yours. This has nothing to do with her, man. I don't care. You can keep that slut for yourself. What? You don't want her? Then why did you do this? Why'd you fight? Just to prove you're tougher than me? That's right. And don't you or your boys forget it. I'm tougher than you. So maybe now you'll stop bullying everyone. You work for me now. Oh, man. I'm starting to feel pretty good about myself. I've just taken control of two of the school's worst cliques, but I know there are bigger problems just around the corner. Problems with overdeveloped pituitary glands and brains the size of peas. The thing is, Pete, now that I'm cool, I'm not sure we can be friends anymore. What? I'm messing with you. <sighs> Real funny, Jimmy. Well, when you're done with this place, a career on the stage awaits. Maybe, maybe like a male stripper or something, huh? What? <clears throat> So, um, what about Gary? I haven't seen him, but whenever I hear somebody say I used to be a girl and had a sex change, or that my mother slept with Crabble Snitch to get me in here, I think to myself, Gary, Gary! What a jerk! You don't even call me a dork! Well, I guess he's not always wrong. Is that what you really think? <sighs> Whatever, Jimmy. You know, I stand up for you, and you still think I'm a dork. You're a jerk! And you're a dork, so we're equal. Whatever. I'm leaving. Ow! Oh. <laughs> now maybe next time you'll watch where you're going. What'd you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry, Psycho. Did oh. I hit your boyfriend? Yes, yeah, Psycho. You gonna try to kick our asses now? No, I think I'll do that more publicly. Ooh, I'm really scared right now. Really scared. I take down linebackers every day, pal. Whatever, pretty boy. You'll get yours. Yeah, we'll see about that. Ouch. Go have some fun in the communal showers. Oh, I just dropped my soap. Please pick it up for me. Losers. Petey, get up. Jimmy, Jimmy, I think we found some new people to have some fun with. <laughs>